Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Megacraft Reborn. We are on episode 3 already, holy butt. We're moving along in the episode, we're, we're going pretty quick. Uh, you know, normally with, uh, with the old Megacraft server, it normally took like a, a week or so to make each episode. But with the start of this new episode, don't worry what's under there for now. Um, with the start of this new uh, series, I mean, it uh, it really just motivated me. I've been playing as much as possible. Uh, any any extra time I get, I just play on the server and everything. It's been such a blast. Right now, I'm actually the only one on, which is kind of weird. It's like midday. I think a few people with the time zones are actually in school right now. Um, but I'm going to run over to spawn real quick. Last episode, we made the chicken farm uh, for spawn. Now, I want to show you guys what happened to it. Um, that's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. It's kind of a bad thing, I guess, because it's working almost too good. Um, <laughs> it's, we're not overflowing with chicken or anything like that, but we've just got a butt ton of chicken at the top. I'm going to show you how many we've got. I think it's around a hundred now. Let's, let's double check over here. We're basically here and it's almost nighttime, so I need to be quick. Uh, but yeah, it's really getting laggy around spawn here. Very noisy. But uh, here we go. We got the uh, chickens up here. Let's go ahead and uh, get the F3. So if you look at the E at the top left of my screen, it says E95 slash 280. Um, that means there's 95 entities in here. 95 chicken right up on top of here. About. So that's pretty insane. It's working really good. We got cooked chicken there. Uh, we're probably going to end up killing some of those chicken after a little bit. But people have been using it, grabbing some chicken, which is great. I've been eating chicken lately too. You can see that I've got chicken right here. I've got a couple more stacks back at home also. One thing that I wanted to do real quick though is for the tournament that we're still hosting, uh, it's the derp counter. If you look, I have one death sadly. That is because Lizzie killed me out of cold blood and everything. Uh, she, she killed me. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty bummed about it. We were just messing around and then she chased me down and just killed me. So, aw, sad me. Oh look, Jane is on. Hey, hey. But yeah, um, I, so I'm currently losing. Royal Desmo has zero deaths and I have one. So I'm in second place. But I wanted to uh, donate something to the, the buy-in here. I already donated a potion of health, which I got from a witch, uh, oddly enough. We don't have any nether wart, so we can't make any potions here. But I got that from a witch, so I thought it'd be pretty cool. And I'm going to donate a name tag. That's, pretty, uh, that's a good little donation as well. So we're going to put that in. And uh, yeah, that's that. Um, was there something else? Oh yeah, I put this here. Uh, it's a, look at this, Fortune 3, feel free to use this. So it's a Tooth's Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, and uh, Fortune 3, and Unbreaking 3. I've got a little tag here, donations are accepted. And I put a thing, please repair it when it is almost broken, thanks. And I put an anvil here. So that's cool. Um, some other people who don't have Fortune 3 pickaxes yet can get one of those. Uh, I myself actually got this guy, this Diamond Fortune 3 axe. I haven't used it yet. I'm probably going to put Unbreaking and Efficiency on it. Um, but I just barely created this tooth's slick pick. Uh, it was my old uh, efficiency four and unbreaking three pickaxe that I had, and I put uh, I had a brand new silk touch, just nothing on it but silk touch, and I combined it with this. So now I have a nice silk touch pick, and I'm actually going to use it for mining. Uh, it'll be nice to go down and mine because then I can collect some smooth stone as well as all the ores and everything like that, and bring them up in the ore form. It works really good for mining, and I also want to go and uh, collect some quartz in the Nether. Uh, I don't want to take a whole bunch of it because, you know, we're confined in space and everyone's going to be wanting some quartz. I just want to get a decent amount, so if I need to use a little bit of white detail here and there, I can use it, as well as quartz for comparators. Um, so last episode, uh, I, I mentioned right at the end that we were going to make a zombie spawner here. Well, I have been busy, guys. I have been very busy with the zombie spawner, and why don't we go check it out, See see what I've done basically finished it I mean there are some revisions I want to do here but right down this way we've got the zombie spawner I showed you this earlier let's go ahead and uh, kill the skeleton real quick alright so right over here is the zombie spawner let's open this up and here we go this is a little room it's pretty nice uh, right behind there actually is the zombie spawner if we can we can actually mine down and check it out so yeah, real basic zombie spawner. They spawn in, they flow down, and then it pushes them in there, and they come up, everything like that. It's pretty cool. Now, let's just close that up. And close that right there. Okay, and let me just show you how it works real quick. So we get zombies inside of here. I'm, I'm not going to wait for them to spawn in. You can hear them coming in, though. I've got it so it drowns the babies, and the full zombies uh, pop into here. 
Uh, so you can hit this button, and it spits out the lava, and it basically burns them so they're low health. Um, I might change a little bit and use a piston pusher design, but you know, we got this stuff, enchanting table, uh, ender chest, a couple anvils there, just real basic area. So look, we can see that right there. Burns away. I'm just gonna leave though, I don't wanna wait there. Uh, one other thing though, uh, before we do a little cut or anything and, and start making some progress that I wanna show you, is uh, me and Gus, and actually me and Lizzie for a little bit. Uh, well, Lizzie was going to come and help me, but I ended up getting pretty lucky just on my own, so I didn't didn't actually need her to come help me. But or not Lizzie, sorry, Kitty was gonna come help me with it. Oh, which just dropped some bottles. Uh, but you probably heard it right at the beginning. Villagers, villagers. How in the world are we gonna get villagers without a village, uh, without any potions either? Well, the answer is witches. They have a small chance of actually throwing weakness potions if you're right up next to them. So, what I, what all this mess is over here was me trying to capture not only a witch, but uh, two zombie villagers as well. And I ended up doing it, got them uh, over in there and over in there, got the witch inside here, and uh, positioned myself in such a way that I'd get the witch to uh, throw, me, throw a potion right at me. Now you have to be right next to a witch to make it throw the weakness potion. And even then, it's a, just a small chance that it will actually throw it. So, uh, Jen, yeah, Jane is still on, so I'm not going to be able to sleep. But uh, what I had to do is basically have the witch throw a weakness potion on me and hope that it splashed onto the zombie villager and then give it a golden apple. And all in that time, I have to also, you know, while I give it the golden apple, make sure I close it up again so no other zombies can kill that zombie. And that's how I got the villager. <laughs> it was a pain, but I got two of them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually transport them, when it's daytime of course, because it's nighttime and there's hordes of zombies, I'm going to transport them over here. Um, let's see, uh, you can see the world border has moved quite a bit still, and I unlocked this little area that, uh, over here, and this is where I'm going to put like a little temporary village breeding system type thing, I got it all lit up, putting some doors there, uh, actually I got a few more doors, let's set those down real quick. Uh, I'm just going to use some mine carts and rails and transport them over here. Uh, this will be enough doors so that they can uh, breed and whatnot. I do, one thing that's different in 1.8 is that I need to actually um, give them, like make trades with them or give them bread or something like that and they'll be willing to breed. So I'm, I'm going to kind of keep an eye out on that and make sure that they're breeding. I just want to get one more villager and then I can create some kind of infinite villager breeder. I'm hoping that I'll get a farmer villager because then they're the ones that can uh, just plant the crops and whatnot. But I'm going to do a cut real quick and do some of that work off camera and then I will be right back and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Alright, that's all done. Taking care of the villagers are moved over into their new area. Um, take a look at this though. I This is where we're going to build a tower. This is going to be our first building. We're not going to really work on it today, but it's probably going to be about this wide in diameter. I was kind of just playing around with different bricks and stuff. This is probably not going to be the design that I use. But I want to have a cool tower that kind of overlooks everything, and it'll be, I think that's a good spot right there, kind of, it'll overlook the, uh, the the big old roof forest, and I can see towards spawn, so that'll be cool, um, but we're not going to work on it today, like I said. Now, I had a little bit of problem moving all of those village, or those two villagers over into my little home for the villagers. Uh, well, I moved them in, and everything was good, I even got them to breed and make a baby, but then I came back, and they were just gone, completely gone. Completely like I don't even know what happened. Uh, they were all fenced in plenty of light and everything I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, I'm thinking is maybe a zombie was able to hit them through the fence while they were next to it and turned the other villager into a zombie and uh, Yeah, and then that just killed them all and they despawned So I was actually able to set this little setup and catch more of those zombie villagers just in here and here And I gave them a little helmet so they wouldn't despawn and then I was able to get a witch to run through the middle and I did the same process over and over again and got two more villagers, brought them over and I closed this area off. I built this little thing. And so we've had a couple more villagers in here and we've actually had them breed and everything. So let's check it out. Um, we've got, yeah, we've got several in here. We've got two librarians and we've got a farmer, which is awesome. And this uh, cleric. And we actually have one other cleric. Oh. oh, we have another librarian in here. Let's see. What books he has? Blast Protection 4, Punch 1. I've done a little bit of trading with these guys too here. Yeah, so we have three librarians. Is this, this is a new guy. Protection 2. That's cool. Maybe I should trade with him. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in here it looks like. Which I think that's about the max that there can be. Uh, but let's go ahead and get out of here. 
I'm going to run over and show you the one other cleric where I put him because I already moved him um, you probably already know where I put him but uh, that zombie uh, spawner that I built uh, you get a lot of rotten flesh from there and so I was waiting to get a cleric to actually put him in over there and I even had a spot for him well I got a cleric and I moved him over here already so let's go check it out uh, and how useful he actually is uh, you don't get a ton of rotten flesh from this thing I mean it takes a little while but it's cool it's cool that you get a little bit of uh, emeralds trading with the cleric while you uh, sit and get some rotten flesh so let's come down here it's not too far away I haven't done any other real changes around here though oh I added that uh, zombies for some reason while you're hitting them they'll spawn outside of here and they'll come outside and walk in and they pile up right here trying to get the villager so put lava right there so I can kill them but uh, yeah, there's the other cleric right there. I still got him in a minecart just for safety, in case I need to move him or anything else like that. But yeah, I can trade 36 rotten flesh, get an emerald. Uh, what's cool is you can actually get some glowstone from him, and yeah, an eye of ender, uh, and some lapis. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's what I've been doing, is just killing these guys, saving up on the rotten flesh in there. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I did a little bit of caving off camera as well, uh, in between uh, earlier and now. Uh, so let me show you, I, I mean, I, I didn't get any diamonds, I wasn't really looking for diamonds actually, uh, but I got one of the things, one of the big things that I was looking for and I'm so happy about, and uh, everyone's been looking for it, everyone's been wanting it on the server, and we didn't know if we would find some, we thought that we'd have to get the world border bigger, but I found some guys, <laughs> I found some, and I'm going to do a little prank for everybody, kind of a, a good prank, not a bad prank. Um, Pumpkin seeds. We got pumpkin seeds. I was in an abandoned mine shaft where I found the melon seeds and actually found another chest down there. Uh, I don't know if it is because the world border opened up bigger. It didn't seem like it. I, I think it was just an unexplored area that I hadn't been to. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grow some of these pumpkin seeds. I swear I have a hoe in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. I'm going to grow some of these pumpkin seeds. I got some bones. Um, I'm going to hide it though. I don't want people to know because I'm going to pull the prank right now. It'll be a little while until this video actually goes live. And so I'm hoping that uh, they all kind of record and wonder who actually did this prank. Because there, there's going to be no way to know that it was actually me. So, I'm going to uh, grow some pumpkins down inside of here. And I think I just heard something. I'm going to put the gravel right there. That's going to be my door. So we're going to grow the pumpkins in here. And, uh, and then we should be good. So, oh, uh, I do have water. Good. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. Get that. And that's so first we want to till the ground. Okay. And I think the best way to do this probably right now is just go like that. Actually, probably not. <laughs> that was probably a bad move on my part. Can I break? I'm going to try it with one of these guys. Can I break it and get. Oh, I get two seeds back. Oh, that's cool. I'm actually going to uh, plant one right here, one right there then and grow them. Alright, that's cool. I think I might break a couple of these then and get a few more seeds. Eh, maybe. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna break you and da, 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 you and you. And I'm gonna do it in the corners actually from here. And then I'll have a few extra seeds that I can just save for whatever, whatever I need. But yeah, we got some uh, pumpkins planted right here. Um, maybe I'll put them in the corners too actually. Just because if, if one of the pumpkin grows right here, then this one can still have a chance to grow there. And same goes for right here. Um, it's not the most efficient way to actually plant stuff, but you know, I just want to be able to grow some pumpkins real quick. Um, what I want to do is I want to make just these little uh, scarecrow looking type things at everyone's base, including mine actually. And, uh, and, then, and then we'll leave a little note or something. I don't know. Let me figure something out as well. Uh, let me grab some wood or fences. I have, oh, dark oak fences. And what should I use for the body? Soul sand? Maybe. Let's see. We've got six people on the server. Uh, six. Probably if I use two pieces, that'll be that'll be enough. So what if I just did that and that and that and that and then put a pumpkin on top and then said that uh, this is the... Put a sign there that says that I'm the pumpkin master or something. <laughs> yeah, and then everyone will be like, oh, there's a pumpkin. And they'll, they'll all grab it, turn it into seeds and grow their own pumpkins. So yeah, why don't I do that? I'm going to put this actually right in the front gate, though. And I'm do just doing this so over the next little while, people are going to be like, um, where did you get... Uh, so everyone will be like, where did we get pumpkins? And I'll be like, I don't know. I'll stack like I have no idea. So I'm just going to put this right here. 
And, uh, hey, zombie. Ow. 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 Water. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so yeah, there's some water right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build that to go around to people's bases and uh, leave this little note. Let's let's make a note real quick and figure out what we're gonna say in it. Okay, I need a few more signs actually. Just six signs will be fine. And then we'll put a torch in everybody's hand. Um, do I have some coal in here? I gotta have some coal or torches. Or I could do a redstone torch. That might be cool. I'll do a redstone torch. Okay. So this is the whole idea. We're gonna put redstone torch on top of there, like he's holding it. Or should I put it on both of them? And then we can put a sign here. I am the, or maybe I am, hmm, what should I say? I think I'm gonna say I am a pumpkin minion summoned by the pumpkin gods. <laughs> How's that? I am a pumpkin minion summoned by the pumpkin gods. Pretty sure everybody will be happy to see that. And uh, as soon as I get a pumpkin, then I'll be able to put one on here and I'll run around to everyone else's base and give everyone one pumpkin. So it'll be a nice, cool, creative way to actually share some of our resources. Everyone's been wanting pumpkins. You know, you can make jack-o'-lanterns with them to use for lighting and all kinds of other things. You can make snow golems, iron golems. It's going to be great. So, I'm gonna, you know, tend to my pumpkins, hopefully grow them up, and then uh, I'll run around with you guys and we'll set up these uh, little pranks. Alright, our first victim is Kitty from Kitty's Adventures, or Top Hat Kitty is her IGN. Uh, we're gonna just set it right out front here. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. So, we'll put you right there, give them the arms, and we need the little hands that we have, these little redstone torch hands. Okay. And uh, we need the sign and the pumpkin. So, here we go. Alright, I am a pumpkin minion summoned by the pumpkin gods. And Kitty's got a really cool place over here. I like it. Now let's go over right through here, and uh, that's Lizzie's castle that she's working on. So, let's see, where's the best place to put it over here? Um, maybe just right out front, right here. I'm just going to do it right here. There we go. I am a pumpkin minion summoned by the pumpkin gods. So that's Lizzie. Uh, Gus is all the way up there. You can kind of see his tower. It's looking awesome. But right here, this is Jaina's place. So I'm going to leave one for her. It's getting nighttime, so I'm probably actually going to do it inside. Except, looks like she hasn't really lit up her place too well. I'm really hoping that nobody gets on and catches me in the act while I'm doing this. Because people have been on and off like crazy all over the place. So, yeah. There we go. We got a pumpkin minion for Jaina. Alright, here's Gus's place. He has a cool banner right there, which reminds me, I'm going to talk about that later towards the end of the episode, but I need a banner. Uh, where should I put the pumpkin minion? Maybe just right here. Yeah, this is probably a good place right next to this little sign. I'm going to put it right there. Da, 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 da. And I'm going to dig out this block so that it doesn't connect. There we go. There's uh, Gus's pumpkin minion, and I'm not going to go tour his whole castle because he has like weird interweaving rooms and stuff in there, and I'll get lost. <laughs> oh, jeez, we got creepers. All right, one more place. We got to go leave one for Royal Desmo. Whoop! All right, here is Royal Desmo's place. He's got this cool little uh, treehouse village type thing going on connected through bridges and everything like that. I like to think, I, I call it the Ewok village. I don't know what he's going to call it. Um, where's the best place to put it? Probably just, I don't know, really anywhere they'll be able to see it, I'm sure. Um, let's just place it. I don't want it to connect to any of these fences, though, and he's got not a lot of just open space. I'm going to put it right here, actually. That's what we're going to do. Um, well, maybe. Yeah, we're going to do it right here. Because so, then that won't connect to anything or anything like that. And he'll walk up and he'll see it right in his face. Okay, put that. And there we go. We got all of the pumpkin minions 
there. So here's a uh, Royal Desmos pumpkin minion. Now let's head back home. We've got our pumpkins delivered, and uh, now let's basically get to whatever we've got to work on next. <laughs> got a whole lot of things to do here I'm not sure what we want to do to finish off the episode but uh, we'll find some good work to do make sure we get some stuff done so I will see you guys when I'm back home <laughs> so everybody is uh, just finding out that there's pumpkins everywhere and I just barely Gus got on first of all he was explaining what happened I'm like what and I was, I was just saying that I was over at the my uh, zombie spawner and then I came over here and I was like OMG I just got uh, pranked too like look I got the same thing, and yeah, 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 they have no idea that it's me, there's a prankster on the loose, everyone's signing in now, because Gus uh, told everybody on Skype that he got pumpkined, everyone's like, what, we have pumpkins, trying to find out, and so, yeah, they're all signing in, trying to find out what's going on, that's awesome, they have no idea that it was me, <laughs> oh man, my plan is working, ha <laughs> Well, it's a few days later, and I think Lizzie has figured out that I am the pumpkin god. <laughs> so, um, she she had a suspicion the whole time. Everyone else couldn't figure it out, though, but Lizzie had the suspicion that I was probably the pumpkin god, and she refused, no matter what I said, she refused to believe that uh, it was anyone else. And so she messaged me on Skype and said that she left me a present. Uh, let's go take a look at it. I can see there's some eggs here. So it's going to be something to do with chickens, I'm sure of. Uh, pumpkin gods, cute. Was that the best yolk? <laughs> you crack me up. Mine seems more egg-tastic, if you know what I mean. From Lizzie. She even left a little heart. So I'm guessing there's probably a whole bunch of uh, chickens down in there. We got eggs. Oh wow, we got a bunch of eggs on here. Hey look, I got free item frames though. That'll be nice to have. So let's take a look at what's going on down here. I can already hear. Oh goodness. Oh no. <laughs> We got a bunch of chickens. Probably gonna kill them with my shovel so I can get raw chicken actually though. Oh man, I got a bunch of eggs too. Let's throw them inside of here. Got a nice collection of eggs. Alright, I'm gonna kill them with my shovel here so I can get raw chicken. I can trade it with my uh, one butcher villager actually, so that'll be nice. Wow, we have a ton. Let's see how many we get. I'm gonna kill all these guys and then we'll see uh, how many we actually have. Okay, so there was 57 chicken down here. Uh, I have a little bit inside here also. Let's grab the raw chicken. I'm going to go check out on my villagers, see how they're doing. Um, I did, I've kind of been keeping an eye out on them uh, for the last little while and uh, just seeing, you know, what villagers I get. I've been wanting to get uh, two farmers so that I can make a nice infinite villager breeder type thing with the farmers. And uh, I think I might actually have, I think I have my zombie sounds turned down right now. Um, but let's go inside here and see. Here there's a baby. So we've got the librarian. We've got a farmer here. Um, and then we got a cleric right here. It looked like there was another cleric too. Yeah, a cleric right there. And then a librarian. And then there's a baby right there. Uh, he looks like a farmer baby. I hope he is. And I think that's all that we have. So, or wait, I think we have three librarians. One, two, yeah, we have one, two, three librarians. And then two clerics, a uh, farmer, and a baby farmer. So, yeah, we have, we, we got a bunch of villagers. I'm, I'm going to be able to make an infinite villager breeder here sometime soon. Um, I wonder if this guy is, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't have a butcher villager anymore, so I can't trade this chicken. Does the farmer get, oh, I think he only gets crops. That's all right. I'll just save this for, for another time. But yeah, so we got two farmers here. I'm going to be able to make an infinite villager breeder, and I want to use just the farmers and I'll have them stand on crops that they can pick up and plant like this I'll probably only do potatoes so that they all just kind of plant the same thing uh, I think potatoes will probably be the best and then the babies will get uh, pushed through or they're not gonna get pushed but I don't know it's kinda hard to explain uh, you'll have to wait until when I actually build it I got some cake here actually I've gotten from was it the farmer I think his last trade is cake yeah you can buy a cake for an emerald so <laughs> I've been getting some cake but yeah, um, that's going to be that. Let's throw this on the ground. Where's that little baby? I'm going to give him this potato. Where are you, little guy? Is that you? There you are. Here, here's a potato. Is he going to grab it? Where'd it go? Someone picked it up. Who got it? <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, that's fine. We got a little slice of cake there. One of the villagers can have it. All right, so that's about that. Uh, and we are running out of time, guys. I think we're going to end it off here. Um... Oh, one, one thing that I want to show you real quick before we end it off. Um, I always do that. I'm about to end it off, but think of the last little thing. Let me just plant these uh, potatoes real quick. Uh, oh, 
that's set up. You can see the uh, the wall ha or the border has expanded quite a bit. Um, this episode, you know, from the start of recording till now, has probably taken about five days or so. Um, you know, it just kind of spanned over a lot of time. Hey, zombie, let's kill that guy. Uh, but yeah, this has pushed all the way back here, so I've got even more forest. I even got a pig right there. But over here, this, this area, right here, nice flat area. I kind of cleaned it out and evened it a little bit more. Um, this is a perfect place for La Casa de Tooth Pistol. That's right. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to build a home right here. I've actually been working out on some designs and creative. Ugh, you know what I've learned, guys? I suck at building houses in Minecraft. I really am pretty terrible. Uh, I I can't I can't come up with a. I mean I just ugh. all I do is I build square square houses and I I need to figure out a way to kind of break that habit. Um, my idea though is maybe I will start out with kind of a square like mansion type looking house. The problem is I always build it square and I always build it symmetrical with the door right in the middle and then I'm stuck and then I'm like okay this doesn't look very good because it's just square. But I don't know, I might be able to add on to it like a room or a garage or something to the left over here. Maybe I'll put some horses when we finally get horses. Or maybe I'll just use pigs. I'll ride around on pigs for now since I've got some saddles and carrots and whatnot. I don't know. Uh, but I'm still in the process of designing this. I think we'll actually build a house one of the soon, you know, probably sooner than later. Um, and also, you know, we got this tower here. I want to try and design this tower as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to build the tower first or my house first. More than likely, I'm going to build my house first. Unless I get stuck on a design, then I'll probably whip, whip up this tower and kind of, you know, follow the same design slash pattern that I use with the, the tower and, uh, you know, incorporate that into my house. Uh, one other thing is I need to start thinking of some options for storage. Because uh, if you look inside of here, we are just, you know, we're running out of space. we got all these, all these chests are basically junk chests. Uh, this is really the only organized chest I have. Um, just kind of junk. I mean, these are tools for the most part. I don't know what that chest is for. Uh, some blocks, some more blocks, and just some eggs and food and other animal parts <laughs> that we'll just uh, leave at that. Um, yeah, I need to get some good storage method. Probably... You know, honestly, I think I might build the same storage room or close to it, the same storage system that I had in the last uh, series of MegaCraft. I really liked that. Really liked it. It was one of my favorite things in that uh, map. So I think I'm going to build that somewhere around here, uh, you know, at least the automatic storage system. I might change the room up a little bit and uh, do a totally different thing for like bulk storage and stuff like that. But you know what? All of that will come with time. We'll figure it out. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. Um, that's. That's where we're all right. That's where we are right now. Uh, you know, this episode, I kind of revealed that I was the pumpkin master, or whatever. This, you know, this is when you guys first found out about it too. Uh, but everybody else has been kind of questioning who is the pumpkin pu pumpkin god? Who's the pumpkin god? Who left all these pumpkins here? Uh, well, everybody, it was me. It was me. So. <laughs> Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series and enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm having tons of fun with this series, and you know this week is going to be pretty busy. I'm not going to do a whole lot on the server because I've got three midterm tests that I got to take. So I'm going to be busy studying for those, but I wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. So you can probably expect another episode. Uh, hope I'm going to hope that maybe I can get one out by this weekend, but more than likely it'll be the beginning of next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end things off now, uh, right with the sunset, uh, you know, getting towards later in the day. It's about uh, 6 p.m. in Minecraft time. But, um, yeah, we're going to see you all next time on episode 4. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying everything. Go check out everyone else's uh, Let's Play series, if you haven't already. They're pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, we got to end this thing. I'm running out of time. I need to go get some food also. Probably go make some lasagna or something. Mm. All right, peace out, everybody. Beep.